welcome back to our channel. Today you're going to see the full process of building the cabin and how we did it. So stay tuned. So subscribe. Okay guys. Got our blocks in. 8 by 8 feet. Got it level. Still got to make this side a little more level. It's looking good right now. We're going to start screwing everything in. Making sure it's level. Okay guys. We got it all squared. We got it all level. Every side. We're going to start screwing in. Every foot, we're putting these later. Nice flooring. And yes, I know we look like wet dogs. It was raining, okay? Yeah, we're using a drill bit first because the screws were not getting in the wood. It was really hard wood. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing it. Hey guys, it's starting to look like a real cabin floor. We're doing this with every one, just making so it's more stable. And we're gonna do it to that one too. We already got this one up. Have to do this side. We're gonna keep on going. Every foot we put one. Every foot, every foot, every foot. Kind of get the conspect. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Level it up right here. Can we just estimate? We like go like. Okay, this would be good. Make one right there. Make one right there. Let me go to the cutter. Get our glasses on. Let me cut. Perfect. Okay, guys. We got all these done. We did a lot. And then we got these clamps. My grandpa gave them to me. We're using them on each side. And then we have the longer nails. Where are those longer nails? We got way longer nails that we're putting in each one. They're really long. But they're, they're perfect. We just got them. Yeah, so right now everything's going good. Then we got all this plywood we're going to put on soon on here. But first we're just going to let this battery cool down because it's hot. And then we're going to put the rest of the long nails in. Then we'll be good. Me and Landon finished off the plywood, and my grandpa cut around the edges, and then we were all done for the plywood today. As we got all of our wood, we're going to start making the A-frame. It's a little wet, but it shouldn't matter too much. 
Okay guys, after two days, we made the tracers. My older cousin helped me out, he does construction. He knows the stuff, we made tracers, and then all we have to do now, get the freshies, where are they? Over here, and just scratch them all out and it'll be good. My grandpa cut this one because he's way better at cutting than me. He can cut way better angles. So I'll just let him do this job so I won't mess up another one. Okay guys, we're finally done. It looks great, well, we think. And now we're gonna start putting the strapping on and then the tin. Okay, now, as you can see here, we're cut the boards for the strapping, so then we can put the tin on later. Now we finished the strapping, and now we're gonna start doing the tin. Okay guys, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find the start of when we put in the tin up, so now I just started here. It's fine, but you just missed a little bit of it, but that's okay. And yes, in a future video, we are painting the tin. We're going to paint it like a dark green color. It's going to look really good, I think. And just so you know, at the end of this, no, we didn't really find this one. We are just getting it done with. But now we're kind of glad because we are done. And the cabin looks good. But you haven't seen the end yet. And just like that, we are done. Man, we're glad we're done. And that is how you get a fire going. Our dinner today, working at the A-frame. Got some hot dogs boiling from the fire. Got some ketchup on this random piece of wood. We're living good, we're living good. Okay guys, we're finally working on the other wall. We're framing in the door. We got some help from Landon's grandpa and my uncle Cor. He's helping us out framing in the door, same as my grandpa. So we got some help on the job today. Which helped us a lot because we didn't really know what we we're doing to frame in the door. But now he taught us, so now we know for our next build that we're gonna do in the future.
Now we put on all the strapping, so now we're ready for the barn boards. We found some nice pretty barn boards, but we're still going to stain them later in the next video. And there we go, we got the barn board up, and wherever there was cracks, airflow coming through, we cut up some strapping from the barn board, and we put that over it. It looks pretty nice too. Now we started framing in the window at the back. We got a lot of help with us, so it didn't take us long at all. Guys, we're finally done. Well, at least this wall looks pretty good. Who's in there? Okay, guys, got our antler up. It's been a long time since we started vid videoing. It's been a couple weeks, maybe two weeks. Look at all of that trimming. Looks amazing. Window in, don't have it fully in, mostly. Today we're doing the caulking, so the white tin that we got has holes in it. So we're gonna caulk it up, make sure there's no holes in it. Make sure it's all good. We got our little fire going, obviously, because it's pretty cold out here. Got more holes that we need to caulk. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. And finishing some of the trimming at the sides here. This side, right there, and up there at the very top by the antler, right up there. It's a little sh shady, but you can hardly see. As you can see, it's, it's a mess in here, but we're gonna work with what we have for now. So you can see the hole is shining through, which isn't good, but it'll be fine with some caulk on it. And then we're gonna put it, we're gonna put caulk, and then we're gonna put these piece of tape that we have. It's like this special tape, we'll put it right over it, and then that will hold it down. <laughs> see all the holes in here? But yeah, we're gonna start doing it. Start working. Okay guys, on this side, we use old barn boards, board and batten. See all those holes there? We're caulking those from the inside. Putting all of those, caulking all of those, except this hole, and then we're gonna caulk it over. We're just deciding where we're gonna put the wires. And we're gonna get more lights, so I saved some of the big ones, big holes, and I didn't put caulking over them, just in case I wanna put a little wire through it. But the rest, we're putting caulking through. We finished, <laughs> we finished all the tin with all the holes in it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, hope you liked this video. Subscribe so you can see the next video when we do the full inside. Thanks for watching.